Warning this game is not suitable for those who are easily disturbed or if you have a chronic fear of anime girls. Also we got incredibly drunk while recording this. Viewer discretion advised. Oh my gosh, so many. Oh god, two more and now I gotta read these. Now it's your turn! Things. Now it's oh, your geez. turn, I've been talking for a while. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. Your face? Oh, fuck. First of all, um... Natsuki repeats my poem. Repeats? Natsuki no, reads my poem. I'm like giving you my opinion. Eh? That's the point of sharing... What's the... Then that's the... What's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing I don't think he's other things. Normal in like a while. No, he hasn't. In fact, remember how I said I oh. wanted to read your poems? Oh That's God. what I had in mind when writing this. I want to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Well, it would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, huh, what a fucking loser. Let me show you what real literature looks like. Are you a neckbeard? <laughs> <laughs> and you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it. Shut up. <laughs> Natsuki retort. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. You're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? Ugh. I already told you that I... You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. <laughs> uh, pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki oh. really hates me or something, but like I don't know why. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem because she's kind of a fucking bitch. But like I'm into that sweet well, pussy. You're a dickhead, so I mean, in yeah. any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Whatever. Only because Monaco make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, wow. monkeys can wow. climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. Fuck man, that's deep. No, that's deep. Like my anus. Oh my goodness, if you look at the capital letters of every sentence, it actually it's makes a word that says And one more time. Monkeys can climb, crickets can Please, leap, cr horses can race, and owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. <laughs> I fucking hate this. You hate this. <laughs> yeah. Told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. <laughs> Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, you have no brain. You smell. Because everyone in high school thinks that brain has to be all sophisticated and stuff. Are you telling me that this is a sexual game about high schoolers? No. Maybe. Okay. Well, <gasps> that's the history. You clicked on history again. Okay. Stop clicking on so... the of the text box, so... please. If you do. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? It's no, not. Man, it's that's for nerds. Are fucking hypocrites, but whatever. Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Are you making fun of me? <laughs> are, you, are you challenging me? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Oh. Like the back of my car. 
Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yes, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but made it full flat on purpose. It's not that I suck. It helps to bring out the feeling in the last line, and not that I suck. I uh, so you did. I guess what's went in, I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what's meant to be, that's what it means to be a pro, loser. Are you sure you about that? Something. Idiot. Don't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. The fuck you say? I really... I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take the guy away from her. Aren't they all the same age? <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all like, 18, but like, she's slightly younger, and that means that no, she's the most kitty bait. Say Ori. Look, it's Bow Girl. This is a good poem, Riley. Are you sure it's your first time? Honestly, I've never gone this far before, and I'm so ready for it! Oh, of course it is! It's not that good, though! Am I the kind of guy who brave in spare time? Meanwhile, Sarah is used to this shit. Okay, I guess you're right. <laughs> but that's why it's impressed me. Well, to be honest, it was awful, but whatever. I was afraid you wouldn't do it seriously. Or that you wouldn't write one at all. All he wrote was cock and the entire time. Ah, the tales of cock and the cock balls of magic. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club oh, room. Shut the fuck up, no one cares. Well, of oh. course. <laughs> I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. You fucking butter not. Sweet. Local Canadian goes insane over anime games. Local Canadian dates four imaginary girls and goes insane. <laughs> it's like I said before, Riley. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Try and do things like this for other people. Something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> I'm not sure if Sayori sees a full picture of my motive here. <laughs> oh, don't like that <laughs> <laughs> oh, then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. <laughs> Knowing how much this means to her and all. Oh, that's a lot more wholesome than I yeah. thought it would be. And I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. All right, all right. I'm gonna hold you to that then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my! Yay! <laughs> now you'll read my poem too. Right? I want, I want Sayori now. No, she's taken. No, I'm taking Don't Sayori. I want Sayori now. She's behind you, fucker. No, I went to Oh, no. Now. Are we gonna have a waifu war? Yeah, oh, we have a waifu war. I need to get Indy in the shop, I'm man. gonna have Sayori. I'm gonna oh, have not. Sayori. I'm gonna have Sayori. <laughs> the dialogue hey. is... Dialogue. Ugh. We'll see about that. Sayori. What personality is this? I don't know. Dear one. sunshine, the way you... Glow through my blinds in the morning. It makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me get out of bed. And making me rub the sleep before my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever, but I'm not mad. I want breakfast. 
<laughs> wow. Breakfast. That's a cute ass poem. Oh my. <laughs> Say, Yori. This is just a gas spot. Did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. Don't be dumb. <laughs> Still tried my best. Uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody. I didn't mean to yeah. say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. <laughs> really? No. Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. Even, <laughs> even though you were late for school. <laughs> it's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Go on. Anyway, thanks for showing me. Yay! This was so much fun. Monica's the best. You uh, goddamn yeah! Right. Of course Monica's the best. But next time I won't forget. And I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. So, right, woo! <laughs> I guess that's everybody. And so I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. Yes. I am so yes, glad we, I have this cider, or else I would not handle it. It's as if everyone <laughs> is judging Christ. me for my mediocre writing abilities. And believe me, it's not like I can write on the spot. So I just say whatever comes to my mind. Anyway, I, I have a boner. And if they're being just nice, there's no way my poems can stand it. up to theirs. So this small. is the literature club after all. And I am fucking stupid. I sigh. I guess that's what I end up getting myself into. Across the room, though, is Sayori and Monica happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki, though. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, oh, no. sharing their respective poems. They're really into it. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuro, Yuri smiles sadly. Girl. What's with this language? That's my eh? line, fucker. Ah! Our, he's going insane. Ah! Steal my rose. Ah! Shut up, there, ah! man. It's our time. Ah! <laughs> anyway, move on. Uh, did you say something? No, oh, it's nothing. That's. Oh. The history. Quit clicking on the little words, Natsuki please. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Oh, thanks. Yours is, uh, cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? I, uh, I know that. Bitch. I just meant, um... <coughs> the language, I guess. So I had a hairball. I had another hairball, I'm sorry. Ahem. Mm hmm. <laughs> Did he die? I think he's dead. <laughs> I'm trying to say something nice, but I'm taking a hard time to think of something. It's taking a while to form my thoughts. Yeah. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? No. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Uh... Um... Well, I do have a couple suggestions. 
<laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually... D which people did, by the way. See, I really liked it, and Riley did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Mm. And Riley liked my poem too, you know, so much that he skipped over your dialogue. He even told me that he was impressed by it. Honestly, her poem was badass, and I was fucking impressed. This girl's a queen. Which one? Suddenly, Natsuki stands up on my boner. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. I'm not trying to impress her, but you're definitely helping to make that happen! Oh! Uh. Uh. Oh! Get off him! Bon. So would I! Uh. Oh, you're just uh... on oh, my booter! Yuri stands up as well. She's on my booter too. Maybe you're just jealous that Riley appreciates my boss more than appreciates you and standing on his dick. And how do you know he doesn't appreciate my advice more? I love both of your advice! Ah! Are you that full of yourself? Ah! If I was full of myself, I would definitely go on my way to make everything I do over cutesy. What? Well, uh, is everything ever everyone okay? Well, you know what? If I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Riley started showing up. <laughs> Uh, Natsuki, that's it! Uh, I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me, as if they just noticed I was standing there. Riley. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. She can get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective than this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poem all convoluted for no reason? Mean them should just jump out of the reader, not force themselves out to figure it out. Let me explain that to her, Riley. Whoa, whoa, wait! There's a reason we have to have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings in the meaning the most effective, just like my Sonic 2 comic. And avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself, it's also a waste. You understand that, right, Riley? Um... Uh, uh, well... How did I get dragged into this in, in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing, I just showed up because the hot girls and tits! Oh, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. Who do I want to bang? Oh, shit. Okay, so I'm 6'2", but honestly, the girl over there is a little taller. Um, but whoever I agree with, they'll probably want to think highly of me. Oh, shit. Help me, right, Sayori. Can I... Pal, if I say... Pick one or pick none. Okay, wait. What's the girl with the purple hair? That's Yuri. All right, all right. I'm going to say her, because, like, I want to bang her more. Yes, sir. Okay. Can't decide. Natsuki. <laughs> You're right. So I liked your poem. See? Wait! That's not an excuse for me, you me. That's not an excuse for you to be so mean. You shouldn't pick a fight just because someone's opinion is different. That's not what happened at all. It is, though. You didn't even take my poem seriously. I did, mm, though. I understand. Yuri? Eh? Yeah? You're a seriously talented writer. It's no secret that I was impressed. Well, that's... But here's the thing. No matter how simple or refined someone's writing style is, they're still putting feelings into it and become something really personal. That's why Natsuki felt threatened when you said her poem was cute. I uh, I see. I didn't even notice that she was... I'm sorry. 
But Natsuki, you took it way too far. Yuri means well, and if you just told her how you felt, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. Are you kidding? That's exactly what I did! No. It was her, but... It was you! Natsuki, I think that's enough! Both said some things you didn't mean. I meant you everything. apologize, that. don't you think you should too? I'm not apologizing for shit. Natsuki <laughs> clenches her fist. In the end, nobody has taken her side. So she's probably not going to get banged. I'm sorry. She's trapped at this point. Being defiant only means she can't handle the pressure. I end up even feeling bad for her, actually. Um, sometimes when I'm hurt, it helps to take a walk and clear my head. Sayori? Uh, she doesn't need to. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to do that. And spare me for having to look at all your faces right now. Without warning, Natsuki snatches up her bow from the desk and storms out. On her way out, she crumples up the poem with her hands and throws it in the trash. I totally didn't mean to make that happen. I wish. You had her back up until this point, and they're like, yeah, no, you're being <laughs> fucking stupid. Well, yeah, like, it, admittedly, like, you're that's like, the You're, like, being I good wanna... friends with her, and then in her moment of need, you're like, actually, no. Well, <laughs> yeah, but she was being, like, a fucking so stupid. Like, why would I defend somebody who's so like the British stupid? Back. I miss him. I miss British. He really didn't need to do that. Oh, I look across the room. Yuri has her, chest, her chin buried in her hands while her she chest. stares down her at her hands. desk. I really hope that she want, that she pushes up her plump breasts. But unfortunately, this is a bold guess. Oh, I gingerly approach her and sit in the adjacent chair. Sigh. Everything alright? I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe I acted like that. You probably hate me now. No! Yuri. How could anyone... How could anyone have not gotten frustrated from being treated like that? You handled it as well as anyone could. I don't think any less of you. Well, alright, I believe you. Well, that was easy. Thanks, Rylan. You're too kind. Smile. You know what? I'm thankful that, to have you part of this club now that you're my little pod champ. Ah, it's nothing. As so long as we, like, date or something. Because, like, I'm, I'm a manga kid. I'm fucking alone. <laughs> one more thing. Alright. Um, that one thing that Natsuki said about, you know, my tits. I would never do anything shameful. So. I? What thing did Natsuki say? Are you that stupid? Uh. Uh. Never mind about that. I'm just gonna make some tea. <laughs> Good idea. Uh, make enough for more than one person, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. By the way, you still have one of Natsuki's books. Okay, everyone. Okay, um, everyone. It's... Just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I'd say that was worth it. It was all right, well, mostly. When the fuck did you get back to anyway? Riley, how about you? <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd say the same. Uh, it was a neat thing to talk about it, it, with everyone. Awesome! In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learn something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. Without, with any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with newfound determination. Riley, ready to walk home. Sure, let's go. <laughs> Why don't I just you. like go for my neighbor? Like that's really convenient that she's like nearby. 
you, you can't figure out who he wants. He wanted Atsuki, and he's like, nah, let's get nah, here. Nah, like, we call this the Gang Bang Ooh. Simulator. Sayori uh, beams nah. at me. It really will, has been a, a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm enjoying it, either. Sure. Sayori! Uh, about what happened earlier, um... Yeah, what do you mean? Well, you know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Oh yeah, those bitches. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, 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 it happens every minute. It's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. It's not true. I promise they're both wonderful people. They're... You don't... You don't hate them, do you? Yeah. No, I don't hate them. I, I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I, <laughs> I can see why they make good friends with you! Phil... You know, Riley. It's nice that I could just spend time with you in the club. Even though you keep ditching me, but whatever. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is gonna be so much fun. Oh, it looks like Sayori still hasn't caught on to the situation. I mean, sure, being friends with everyone's nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll have to see what the future holds, Sayori! It's time to go to bed. Take your medicine. I pat Sayori I on I the shoulder. This. I said that more to myself than to her. <laughs> what is he saying? I told Grand to go to bed, but she doesn't Sayori to... has an internal <laughs> monologue sometimes. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this.